Hello everyone, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Say hi also to teacher S. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher and Good afternoon. Okay, so today is today is Wednesday. So what subject are we going to have today? Math. Okay, that's right. So the same yesterday. So next week, next week will be your exam. So we will also have review test for math. Okay. Okay. So welcome back to our math class. And today we will have review of all our previous lessons. Okay, so what topic can you remember about math lessons that we had? What Lesson, can you remember? Can you Minus. Minus, okay. What else? Pass. Plus, okay. So minus. What is that? Multiplication. Multiplication. Divide by. Okay. Function. Okay. So today we will learn, first we will have a review about comparing numbers and relation symbols. Okay, can you still remember what are the symbols that we use when comparing numbers? Okay, so we have here relation symbols. Symbol. Uh -huh. When you compare two numbers, you can give me example of a relation uh, symbol. Okay, who can remember? Give one. Comparing two numbers. Okay, I'll give example. Okay. Ah. What's this? Greater than. Oh, a greater than. Is this greater than? This is less than. Okay. So example of relation symbol, we have less than. Okay. Less than. Okay. Now who can tell me what about this symbol? Right hand. More than. More than or greater than. Okay. That's right. And then one. Equal. 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 Yes, that is equal sign. Not equal to. Oh, not okay. equal to. Very good. We have uh, equal to and not uh, equal to. Or not equal to. Okay. So these are, what do you call this one? These are the relation symbols. Right? So we use these symbols when we are told to compare numbers. เท่าไหร่นะคะในการเปรียบเทียบจํานวนนะคะที่เราเรียนไปนี้มากกว่าน้อยกว่าใช่มั้ยคะของจํานวนทั้งสองจํานวนแล้วก็จํานวนที่เ
79. Okay, so you have to say 79,199 is lesser than 83,725. Okay, so first you have to find the sum or you have to add. What about number two? What will be the symbol? Lesser than. Yes, yes again please, Mr. Mix. Less than. Less, than. Less than. Okay. So what is the answer if you are going to add 34,251 plus 2001? The answer is 36,252. And the other side is 45,506. Okay. That's right. The answer is less than. Okay. ก่อนที่เราจะบอกว่าเป็นเลสแดนเลสเดอร์แดนได้เราก็ต้องหาผลลัพธ์ของทั้งสองสมการนี้ก่อนนะคะถึงจะมาเปรียบเทียบว่
four and one. What you call four and one? Who can remember? Four and one. Four and one starts with letter A. Ah, letter A, that is. Four and one. Addition. Addition. This is addition. That's right. But what do you call four and one? Four and one, that is, they are what we call the addend. Okay, that's right. Addend. Okay, four and one, that are the addend. What about number five? Five. The, the answer for addition. Five. The answer for answer. Okay, the answer for addition that is starts with letter S. Uh -huh. Who can remember? We're done with this one. Starts with letter S. Anybody? Sum. Okay, yes. that is the sum. That's right. Uh, don't forget, if you are told to uh, find the sum, it means you are going to add the numbers. Okay? ดูนะดูการบวกนะคะเลขสี่กับเลขหนึ่งนะคะเขาเรียกว่าอัดแดนทั้งสองตัวนี้นะอัดแดนแล้วก็ผลลัพธ์ของการบวกในข้อนี้
มาเรื่องการคูณแล้วนะคะนักเรียนตัวตั้งในการคูณมีชื่อเรียกว่าอะไรนะ yes yes between นะคะ letter M start with letter M เป็นตัวต้นด้วยตัว M อ uh-huh. ่ะฮะ who can remember มีใครมีใครช็อตโน้ตไว้บ้างมีใครจดไว้บ้างเรื่องนี้มีไหมสามารถดูได้นะคะนักเรียน did you write it on your notebook so that you can remember ใครจดไว้หรือนักเรียนใช้หนังสือแมทเนี่ยในการช่วยในการตอบได้เลยนะคะนักเรียน this is เขาเรียกว่าอะไร What is this group? Can you remember? This is multiplication. Multiplication. Okay, multiplication. What about three? Three is. Who can remember? What about three? Three is. ตัวคูณตัวคูณเราเรียกว่าอ่าคล้ายๆกันกับที่แรก Multiplication. That is the operation. That is. Uh huh. That is operation. Me. Okay. Number three is multiplier. Okay. That's right. Multiplier. Nah. Five is the multiplicand. Three is the multiplier. What about fifteen? The answer. Nah. The answer for multiplication. The result of the multiplication. We call it. ใครจำได้บ้างนะใครเรียกว่าอะไรอ่ะมันติฟมันติฟโน้ start with letter p letter p ขึ้นต้นด้วย start with letter p p นะคะนักเรียนขึ้นต้นด้วยตัว p p ค่ะ that is The product. Okay, the answer for multiplication. That is the product. Okay, so when when the question says find the product, it means you have to multiply. So next we have the division sentence. Division sentence. We have fifteen divided by three equals five. So fifteen is what we call dividend. Okay, that's right. Who answered? Very good. That is the dividend. That's right. Fifteen is the dividend. What about three? Divisor. Divisor. Very good, Nick. That's right. So fifteen is the dividend. Three is the divisor. What about the answer? Right there. Co quotient. Quotient. Okay, that's right. Quotient. Dividend, divisor, and the quotient. Okay. So please. Remember, if you are told to find the quotient, it means you have to divide. เดี๋ยวนะคะแต่ตัวนี้คือเรื่องการหารนะคะตัวตั้งเนี่ยเราเรียกดีวิเดนตัวหารดีไวโซผลลัพธ์นะคะผลลัพธ์เนี่ยโ
letter C, thumb. Letter D, quotient. จะช่วยแปลข้อแรกให้นะคะผลลัพธ์ที่ได้จากการบวกเห็นไหมคะเรียกว่าอะไรลองนึกดูอ่าเป็นไงโอเค finish อ่า check your answer now what finish อโอเค so ready for number two okay for number two is the symbol used for multiplication symbol What is the symbol used for multiplication? Is it letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? Okay. Multiplication. Finish. Finish. Okay. Okay. Number three. Are you ready for number three? What's okay. uh, Number three. Find the product. Of 144 and 6. Huh? Product. What do you mean by that? Let's see what product is in the world of two things. It's the product of the world. Is it 164? Is it 264? Or is it 864 or 960? Finish. Yes, okay. Very Finish. Good. Number four. For number four, what is the symbol used for subtraction? Subtraction. This one or this one? Oh. Finish. Finish. Oh. Okay, so fast. Next, oh, number finish. five. What is 12 in the number sentence? 12 minus 10 equals 2. Uh -huh. Can you remember the part uh -huh. of a number sentence? What is 12 in uh -huh. the number sentence? 12 minus 10. What do you call number 12? Is it added? Is it multiplier? Is it no. subtrahend? Or is it no. minuend? Sure, finish. Okay. okay. Very good. So number 6. Find the difference. Uh -huh. Find the difference of 133,237 and 598,338. What will be the answer? Okay, I'm going to the difference Okay. Move to number seven. Uh, number seven, what is 634 divided by 3? Ah, do we have remainder? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, uh, that's right. We have remainder. Letter C and letter D. What is the answer? Finish. Okay. Okay, so number seven, finish. Finish. Ah, for number A, find the sum of... 133 and 5,032. Okay, finished? Ah, number 9. For number 9, what do you call the answer when you are dividing a number? Is it quotient? Is it product? Sum or difference? Okay, and number 10. What is 7 in the number sentence? Times seven equals forty-two. Finish. Okay. Finish. So that is number ten. We only have one to ten. Okay. Are you all done? Finish. Finish. Okay. So ready for the answers? Okay. So let us answer number one. The answer is what do you call the answer for uh, adding numbers? In adding numbers. The answer is letter number one C. is letter, letter C. That's right. Sum. Uh, number one, letter C. Sum. Okay, number two. What is the symbol used for multiplication? Multiplication. D. Letter D. That's right. Yellow. Okay, that is time. Number D. three. 
What is the product or find the product? A, 164, 264, 864, or 964? Correct, so, okay. Letter A. Letter C, that's right, 864. A. Ah, check your work. Letter uh, letter C, number three, letter C. Okay, number four. What is the symbol used for subtraction? Ah, subtraction. Letter B. That's right, number four is letter B. Number five, what is 12 in the number sentence? 12 minus 10. The answer is? D. Letter D, that's right, minuit. Ah, subtraction. The greater number is the minuit. Letter D. Number five, letter D. It's about number six. Find the difference of 133. That is subtraction, okay? So what will be the answer? Number five. Number five is letter D. Letter D. In you win. Letter D. Number six. The answer is letter B. Yes. B. That's right. Letter B. 465,101. You have to minus. Okay. Ah. Number six is letter B. Number seven. What is 634 divided by 3? Uh, what is the answer? E. Letter C. E. Letter C. That's right. 211 remainder 1. Very good. 211 remainder 1. Letter and number 8. The answer is find the sum of 133 and 5033. B. Letter B. That's right. 5100. And number Let's nine. What do you call the answer when dividing numbers? A. Letter A. A that's right. Quotient. Ah, letter A is quotient. Very good. And number ten. What is seven? In the number sentence, six times seven. That is B. 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 Letter B, multiplier. Very good. Okay, na. Who got 10 out of 10? I have 10. Oh, boy. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. What's your score? Okay. So, are there any questions? Any questions? No. No, okay. So if there is none, uh, I hope you learned something today. I hope you can get higher score on your exam. Okay, good luck on your exam. I'll see you again next week. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher.